Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, y'all, what in the Black History Month is going on here, okay? We got so many black men out here just fucking up. Well, actually, two black men and one who's biracial, okay? We got Jussie, Street Meat Smollett, his ass getting charged with a damn felony for damn lying. He lied! Y'all niggas worship him! We got R. Kelly out here molesting and raping girls. He just got a warrant issued for his damn arrest, okay? And now we got Tristan, third trimester Thompson, once again slinging that damn Jamaican beef stick in somebody who's not named Chloe, okay? So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. Y'all want me to come on and talk about this and break it down? And these are my damn thoughts, okay? So if you guys don't know, Allegedly what's going on is that Jordan Woods, who is Kylie Jenner's BFF, I mean, they are best friends. They had the whole Jordan Woods and Kylie Jenner show together. That's how I got to know more about her. You never know what people want, or they just want to be gang. They just want to hang out with the squad. They just want to be able to say that, oh, I'm talking to Kylie's best friend, not really about me. And I like Jordan Woods. She seems like a sweet girl, okay? Well, they're saying that supposedly Jordan Woods is fucking Tristan third trimester Thompson, okay? And Malika Hack and Khloe Kardashian, they confirmed this to Hollywood Unlocked by jumping in their comment section and basically confirming everything that Hollywood Unlocked was stating. Go ahead and check this out. So Hollywood Unlocked reported they're saying one of our contributors was at Tristan Thompson's house party and saw what went down. At Kylie Jenner, we need you to address some things with Jordan Woods. Anyhow, Jordan Woods stayed at his house until approximately 7 a.m. Who needs to go? Comment below. And then Khloe Kardashian comes on there and she writes a bunch of shouting emojis. Hollywood Unlocked replies back to her and they say, Khloe Kardashian, we got you. And then her best friend Malika Hat comes on there and she says strong facts. So basically they were confirming everything that went down. Jason then went on this long ass rant about how he broke the story first and TMZ stole it from him in case you care. Here goes his rant. Check this out. Hey, what up, everybody? Jason Lee. So we just put out the story about Tristan Thompson, Khloe Kardashian's baby daddy, cheating or messing around with Kylie Jenner, Khloe Kardashian's sister's best friend, Jordan Woods. Um, apparently, there's a lot of speculation. Everybody's going back and forth saying, why would Jordan do that? That's not true. That's not true. It is true. You know why? Because one of my writers was there. And Tristan, you took everybody's phone, but you let them stay. Jordan came in. Y'all was smoking hookah. She was all up in your lap. You was all over her, touchy-feely, and you let the girl spend the night till 7 in the morning. Now, that happened. That's a fact. And I don't want to hear nobody trolling Chloe talking about you. It's a Chloe. It's a Kardashian curse. It's Chloe's father. Said, no. If a nigga ain't shit, he ain't shit. And Tristan, the fact that you slept with her sisters or messed around with her sister's best friend. We don't know if you slept together. And the fact that Kylie, your best friend, was at the house doing all that, get her out now. Okay, so look, I'm going to put somebody else on blast. TM motherfucking Z. I've been on this Black Brands Matter shit for a while sometime, and I've let you motherfuckers steal from me in the past. But it stops today. How are you going to post that you broke an exclusive when I'm the one that reached out to Khloe Kardashian to tell her that her baby daddy was cheating with Jordan? See, this is the type of shit that y'all don't know what goes on behind the scenes. TMZ, you this big old monstrous company, but yet you're putting out a store, my store, my exclusive, Hollywood Unlocks exclusive, as if it was yours. Fuck that. We're not doing that no more. Every time you steal uh, TMZ, I'm going to let you know. So, ask... Chloe, who told her it was me, not you. Harvey, your bitch ass owes me a phone call. All right, so you guys just saw what Jason had to say. So on top of that, Cardi B found herself involved in the fuck shit. She decided to talk about this, and she's basically saying that folks need to leave Chloe alone and, you know, why people wishing bad on her and everything else. Y'all go ahead and check out what Cardi B had to say about the situation. Check this out. 
you know, I'm seeing this whole Khloe Kardashian thing, and it's just like everybody is just like celebrating that that happened to her, and it's like, why? I mean, I know the Kardashians have done fucked up shit before and everything, but the thing is that it's like, I think, I think the karma got to them, you know, when, you know, the last situation happened to Shorty before the day she gave birth. Like, I feel like she. You know, whatever karma they I feel like they deserve, I think they already have it. So it's like, why do you guys keep wishing that on a woman, especially a woman that has a daughter? Like, it's like, why do we wish that on each other? Like, we know how it is when a nigga fuck up. Y'all know that your heart shatters in pieces. Y'all know it feels like your heart is le- literally bleeding and you just want to die and you can't even sleep. You, even, you actually can't even escape it when you sleeping because you actually dream about it. So it's like... Honey. All right, so you guys just saw what Cardi B had to say. Like I said on Instagram, I disagree with Cardi B 100%. I don't agree with what she's saying. I don't feel bad for any of these chicks, and I will break that down later, okay? So now on top of that, it was being reported that Jordan Woods, who was living in Kylie Jenner's guest house, got booted the hell out, and they're saying that Jordan Woods is now back staying with her mother. This is what People Magazine is reporting. Go ahead and check this out. So People Magazine is saying that Jordan Woods is leaning on her loved ones amid allegations that she cheated with Tristan Thompson. Multiple sources confirmed to People exclusively, previously living at her longtime BFF Kylie Jenner's house, Woods, 21, is now moving back to her mom's house, says another insider. It's been a difficult time. She's broken up about it. She's heading home to be with her mom. Multiple sources previously confirmed to People that the Card Jenners were blindsided by reports that Woods was seen cozying up to Thompson over the weekend. All right, so you guys just heard what People Magazine had to say. So on top of that, Khloe Kardashian, honey, came out with this mini dissertation talking about how her feelings are hurt and how she's going through so much. I'm going to go ahead and read that to you guys right now. Go ahead and check this out. So Khloe says, the worst pain is getting hurt by a person you explained your pain to. Then she goes on to say, somebody needs to hear this. That betrayal was your blessing. Then she says, if you ask about me, tell them she was the only person that loved me with honesty and I broke her. And then she posts a picture of a crying face. So now on top of that, Kim Kardashian is also involved and she basically stated that she unfollowed Jordan Woods and Tristan Thompson and then her and Malika decide to be petty and post videos of themselves singing to Nivea's song, Don't Mess With My Man. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Malika. All right, so you guys just saw Kim and Malika being petty. Now I'm going to say this, Kim and Malika. If you guys want to sing a classic song like Don't Mess With My Man, please know the words because what you guys did was just damn disgraceful, okay? It should have went a little bit something like this. I'm going to be the one to bring it to you. Got my girls and my man. Find your only mind alone. Don't mess with my man. I'm going to be the one to bring it to you. Here's a little advice for you. Find your own man. Yes, bitch. If you're going to sing it, sing that shit with a damn passion. That's a classic. Shout out to Nivea. Okay, she was wise beyond her years. She knew this damn song would come in damn handy, okay? So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. And I'm going to keep it all the way live with y'all. I don't give a flying fuck, okay, about Chloe's pain, Kim being mad, Malika, you know, just trying to be in the thick of shit. Y'all are sitting here dragging this young girl, Jordan Woods. There's really no proof. I wouldn't be surprised if this was some shit for the Kardashian show because these women love attention and the fact that street meat has been getting way too much attention all damn week. It has a damn Kardashian Jenner clan feeling some type of way. I would not be surprised if this was some bullshit for their show, okay? People are attacking Jordan, but I don't see folks attacking Tristan. Now, Tristan has since spoken out and basically Tristan is saying that all this shit is fake news, okay? And that, you know, basically he's all also done with Chloe. He's not tripping off of, 
you know, being with her no more. Tristan has moved on. I don't know if he's moved on to, you know, being with Jordan, but he's damn sure not with Chloe, okay? Now, on top of that, Jordan did speak out today. Um, she had to go on a promo run because, as we all know, her and Kylie, they have a joint lip venture together. And so she was on Kylie's snap promoting her new makeup, but then also talking about, you know, everything that she's gone through. And this is what Jordan had to say. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So Jordan says, thank you guys for coming out and supporting me through everything that's going on. It's been real. So y'all go ahead and check out this video of her saying the same thing. All right, so you guys just saw what Jordan Woods had to say. So like I said, I don't feel bad for any of these serial cheaters, AKA man grabbers. See, it's no fun when the damn rabbit has the gun, now is it, okay? Let's keep it real here. Chloe, you got with Tristan when he was with his other baby's mother who happened to be named Jordan as well, okay? He was with Jordan. Jordan was six months pregnant when you started fucking this man and you took Tristan from his pregnant girlfriend, okay? So much so that Tristan's father was blasting you and was so upset with his son for disrespecting the mother of his child. So you saw nothing wrong with taking a man from his pregnant girlfriend, and I also blame Tristan in that as well. It's not just Chloe's fault, but you saw nothing wrong with that. But then when you get that back, I'm supposed to cry tattoo tears for you, bitch? I think not, okay? And on top of that, you were also really good friends with Trina, and you and Trina fell off. Why? Because Trina introduced you to her man at the time, who was French Montana, you took him from Trina and started fucking him, and then you brought him on the show, and that was your man for quite some time. You look beautiful as always. That's Chloe this weekend on another date with rapper French Montana. You know, the guy Trina's been living with. Yo, French, you still cool with Trina or what, big dog? Is anybody in the <laughs> So again, you've done this to other women, but somehow Lovely T is supposed to be crying tattoo tears when you're going through some shit. Bitch, I think not, okay? Now, let me get to Kim Kardashian, who wants to sit here and scream, don't mess with my man, but yet she don't know the rest of the damn lyrics, okay? Kim, you're not innocent either, because let's keep it real, because let me bring this back to when Jen the Pen and Consequences blasted you and Kanye West on The Breakfast Club. Amber Rose kept telling folks that Kim was the one who ruined her relationship with Kanye. A lot of folks dismissed Amber, because, you know, Amber acts like a damn hood rat sometimes. So a lot of people dismissed her claim. They thought it was Amber's fault. Amber says she never cheated on Kanye. And Consequences and Jen the Pen confirmed, okay, that while Kanye was with Amber Rose, Kim Kardashian was creeping with Kanye, was calling Kanye and everything else. Let me go ahead and play this flashback for you guys because y'all know this bitch keeps receipts, okay? Check this out. Hey, was go. sticking Kim when he was sticking Kim when Kim was with Reggie. You know whose secret that was? That was our secret uh, okay. when the rest of the world didn't know. No one blew up his spot. He had his back every night that man called. What do I do? What do I do about, uh, you know, about Kim? I need to be with her. I want to be with her. This, that, and the third. Who's, that secret was in my home. Mm. Mm. Yeah, not anymore. What? Honey, yes, I have to dig that out the damn archives, okay? So now let me get to Miss Kylie Jenner, okay? But I was like, oh, Kylie needs to cut off Jordan. That's bullshit. How dare Jordan do that to Kylie's sister? You know, what, what the fuck was she thinking? First and foremost, Kylie has no room to judge Jordan, okay? Jordan probably learned this fuck shit from watching Kylie's moves. Because as you guys know, I've done videos on the moves that Kylie has made. Now, I like Kylie. I think she's a good mother. You know what I'm saying? I follow her on Instagram. She's the only Kardashian general that I do follow. But I, I'm always keep it real. I don't care who I follow, who I fuck with. I'm always keep it real. Now, my issue is this. Like I stated in my previous video. Y'all remember when Kylie was running with Justine Sky? That was her best friend. You know, it was always Justine Sky and Kylie. Jordan was there too, but it was mainly Justine and Kylie. Then all of a sudden, we didn't see them hanging no more. Well, at that time, Justine Sky was dating Travis Scott. Travis Scott also, you know, for a short time dated Kendall Jenner, okay? Then all of a sudden, Travis Scott and Kylie hook up, and within a month, she's pregnant. And at that point in time, her and Justine Sky fell off. Kendall kind of felt some type of way. But it's funny that Kylie did the same thing. She took Travis Scott from her own sister and her own friend. But now everybody wants her to sit there and shit on Jordan Woods. 
guess Justine has to stand behind Black China because let's not forget Kylie Jenner stole Tiger from Black China and now it's being reported that she did the same thing to Justine Sky. So if you guys know, you know, a lot of people gave Kylie Jenner congratulations on her new baby Stormy and all that stuff. But one person who was silent who did not even acknowledge her was Justine Sky. And people put two and two together that Justine Sky at one point in time was dating Travis Scott. So when I tell you folks got their detective work on and they put things together and they found an old interview, Justine Sky talking about her, you know, talking to Travis Scott and she was gushing over him. This entire situation is a hot damn mess. I want you guys to go ahead and check out these clips and check out these memes. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. to pry into your personal life but gotta ask this is a female show what's up with your dating life i mean is there anything going on because i heard rumors around the street <laughs> rumors yeah that uh you and a certain um rapper are actually an item i don't know if that's true or not but what <laughs> yes word in the street is you and travis scott are an item is there I any mean, truth to we're us? cool we're just chilling he's a really dope he's an amazing musician like he's an amazing artist rapper producer so i mean he's cool okay we vibe we kick it we have great energy so i guess that means you sort of are or not <laughs> or no confirmation i don't want to pull too no much out of you you know what i mean i like, mean you say what you want to say and even before the whole travis scott fiasco let's not forget how she got tyga okay black china and kim kardashian were ace boom cooms they were running around this bitch bffs taking ass selfies together and everything else you know kim was looking for some street credibility and black china is just thirsty and trying to get in wherever she can fit in okay so black china and kim were hanging out all of a sudden, Kylie starts fucking Tyga. And then they all cut off Black China, had no sympathy for her. They didn't check their sister. They didn't blast their sister. They didn't publicly shame her. They just cut off Black China as if Black China did something wrong. So that's my issue with what Cardi B was saying. Where's all this sympathy when this black woman, Black China, got played and mistreated by the Kardashians? When they took her baby's father, you know what I'm saying? And they watched their little sister basically take him, date him, fuck him, and everything right underneath Black China's nose. So I find it funny that people are making excuses like Cardi and other people. So it's okay when they mistreat other women. It's okay when they shit on women like Black China, Justine Skye, and Trina, and many others. It's okay for them to man grab, steal, fuck other people's husbands, fuck other people's boyfriends, you know, fuck up other people's relationship. There's no girl code when it comes to the Kardashian-Jenner clan, but for some reason when they go through heartache, all of a sudden social media is supposed to stop and have all this sympathy for them and I'm supposed to cry tattoo tears for them. Like I said, I don't give a shit. I believe all these people deserve each other and like I said before, it's no fun when the rabbit has the gun, okay? How are they mad at Jordan Woods for doing the same shit that Chloe, your ass done did? Kylie, your ass done did, okay? Don't be mad at her, bitch, because y'all did the same shit. The same energy that you put out there, you can always get back, okay? So I don't want to hear all this, oh my God, you know, now she's a single mother as if she's about to go run down to the welfare office and go sign up for WIC. Chloe will be okay, her baby will be okay, Tristan will be okay, and Jordan Woods will be fine. Regardless if Kylie ends up cutting her off and not being friends with her no more, that's their personal business. But Jordan is okay, Jordan comes from money. People People act like she's just, you know, Kylie's lap dog and she's only famous because of Kylie. Jordan has her own bag. She's worth several million dollars. Her parents are in the industry. So Jordan Woods will be fine irregardless of the situation, okay? Now, if she is fucking Tristan Thompson, that's nasty and she's definitely wrong for that. But again, let's not just sit there and condemn her. Tristan also needs to be condemned and so do the Kardashian-Jenner girls who have perpetuated the same bullshit towards many other women and and for some reason, it's okay when they do it, but then when they get a fraction of that back, all of a sudden, everybody wants to run and go drag Jordan and go in on her. And I'm not going to do that. I figure she's a young girl living her best damn life. She wanted some Jamaican street meat, so damn it, she helped herself to Chloe's fucking man, okay? 
Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Do you guys feel bad for Chloe? Do you hate Jordan because of this? Do you think Jordan is foul? Or do you feel like, you know what, this is karma? Chloe has done the same thing to people. Kim has done the same thing. Kylie has done the same thing. And hell, you know, word on the street is Kendall took Ben Simmons from his girl. So Kendall is also being accused of doing the same damn shit. So why is it that when they do it, it's okay, but then when it gets done to them, all of a sudden the world is supposed to stop and I'm supposed to have all this sympathy for Chloe's plight. Miss me with the bullshit, okay? Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning the Kardashian-Jenner clan, do you believe this story or do you agree with Tristan that this is fake news and that he never hooked up with Jordan Woods? Um, I find it really funny that Jordan Woods just didn't come on and say, you know what, I didn't get with him. We never slept together. She's just waiting for all of this to pass so she can move forward. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.